so I am Rebecca Barr, I'm the owner and director of uh, Wonderland Hair and Beauty, which is the ladies salon down here. Uh, Wonderland Hair and Extensions Training Academy, which we're just launching at the moment, and then also the Mad Hatter Barbershop upstairs. When you really think about what the story entails and what it, what it sort of represents at the time, I believe Alison was, Alice was the original feminist, 100%. She completely refused to conform to that agenda, and I've always been the same. I think Wonderland um, embraces the weird, the wonderful, the fabulous. Um, I love that. That's very much sort of the vibe of the salon. Just the message about dreaming big. Um, I think over the years, I've always wanted to be a business owner because I recognise that I work really hard <laughs> and it would be nice to be able to sort of reap the rewards of that effort. Um, but I didn't really have the confidence, to be honest. So I've always followed a very traditional career path. Mm -hmm. And uh, my childcare just didn't seem to line up with what I was doing at that time. So I was forced to then open my own business, to have my own income and to be able to work flexibly. I think people want far more value from a business nowadays. Um, I think it's, it's not just about having a portfolio for your work. It's also an opportunity for you to, um, you know, explain your ethos, your, your mission statement, your values behind the brand. Um, but also add value to the people that are following you. So at the moment we support two charities specifically just on our recent relaunch. So um, it was the Kingston Carers Network and then a, another Carers Network. All we want to do is make people look and feel their best and empower them. Um, so it's an I ideal sort of alignment with that. And I think, um, you know, there's, there's more that we could do with that, definitely. Um, I'd love to do training and stuff mm -hmm. and, you know, the, we've had quite a few, and that's more of a need that we've had girls coming in you know, bad lash technicians, you know, damaging their lashes. And, you know, that's sort of quite frightening for me, some of the states that I've seen people come in. So I'm thinking myself, in order to raise the standards of the industry, it'd be great if we then maybe did that here. I really believe in that, um, being all that you can be um, and the truest potential of yourself. Um, so as long as they leave feeling that way, amazing. My, my days is good, I'm happy. <laughs>